less than objective. Compute conditional probabilities using contingency tables. In statistics, a contingency table is often used to record and analyze the relationship between two or more categorical variables. It displays the multivariate frequency distribution of the variables in a matrix format. The example that we're going to use is the data from the Titanic. We can see these are two categorical variables who survived the Titanic. There was a total of 706 and who died in the Titanic and there was a total of 1,517. So the grand total of how many people were on the Titanic was 2,223. And we're comparing that against gender. Here we have the men. There was a total of 1,692 men. Women, there were 422. Boys, there were 64. Girls, there were 45. What is the probability of randomly selecting a man or a boy? Now we learned in section 5.2 when we have an or we use the addition rule and these are mutually exclusive they are disjoint so we simply add those two probabilities up probability of a man plus the probability of a boy probability of a man was 1692 out of 2000 223 and the probability of boy was 64 out of 2223 which gives us a total of 1756 out of 2223 which is about 79 percent now this is our first example of what we call conditional probability what is the probability of randomly selecting a man given the person was a survivor? Okay, so we know that the person is a survivor, so we're only looking at the survivors. We want to know if the person was a survivor, what's the probability that he was a, a man? So the survivor has a total of 706. How many men do we have out of that? It was 334, so our answer would be 334 divided by 706. Now here's a, another conditional probability problem. What is the probability of randomly selecting a survivor given, given that the person was a man? Okay, so now we're only looking at the men which there was a total of 1,692. How many of those survived? 334. So this probability is a lot lower. 334 divided by 1,692 is about 20%. So for our next example, we're going to use the data from the early fall 2009 student survey and we're going to look at the relationship between gender and party affiliation. There was a total of 149 people that did the survey in the early fall of 09. What is the probability a randomly selected female is a Republican? So now we're only looking at the females, which there's a total of 85. We want to know what's the probability that, that picking a female is a Republican. So there's a total of 23 out of the 85, so the answer is about 27 percent. What is the probability a random selected Republican is a female? And now we're only looking at the Republicans. This is what we know. How does that change the probability? Well, we had 23 females out of 34. So our probability would be 23 divided by 34 which is about 